The Picasso Museum in Paris is finally reopening. Closed for five years for renovations, the space houses one of the world's largest collections of works by Pablo Picasso. But infighting delays and controversy have marked the repairs, and several prominent officials have been fired, including the museum's president for the past nine years, and Baldassari. Baldassari says visiting the museum is like touring the 20th century with Picasso as your guide. Picasso is a philosopher, he's a poet. He tells us, that's how I can look at the reality, how I can capture the violence, fear, beauty, suffering, destruction, and notably during wartime, World War I, World War II, and the Spanish Civil War. Even though many works in the more than 5,000 strong collection have traveled, some are too fragile to be moved. So Baldassari says the restored museum is a must-see. We find all the jewels of the collection, all the works which have never traveled, the little guitars, the sand paintings, the plaster works, all these can't travel. The Picasso Museum will reopen on October 25, which also marks the birthday of the artist, who was born in 1881 in Malaga, Spain, but spent most of his adult life in France.